feel like I'm going to sneeze. <sighs> Hello there cheeky potatoes. I just wanted to do a quick introduction to my like vlog style thing. I've kind of had to split it into two videos and I wanted to do a quick shout out to a YouTuber called Cody McIver I think that I've said it right, I think, yeah, and um, he does like travel videos and he's Canadian, just check out his channel, I'll link it down below. Um, in this vlog I'm just kind of doing some random, showing you my new shoes and also a little bit of food that I ate and a grocery haul from Sainsbury's, like the foods that I needed to kind of get back into fitnessy foods. Uh, after Christmas and then the next vlog is going to be a bit the same but a little bit different as well um, and I have some good news that I might actually be getting a phone soon to film so I can take it actually to the gym uh, but I don't know when that's happening so I'll keep you updated on that or anything this is just like a really random I just thought I'd record this anyway but I haven't been to the gym since a bit before Christmas, something like that. I was filming like a haul or something um, to upload um, and you probably would have seen it by the time this video goes up. And my room from that has turned into a tip um, and I need to show you my bogey curtains because they just look like bogey colour and I really just want some new curtains because they make my bedroom look horrible. Do you want to see them? They're gross. So it's just these. <laughs> you probably see them in all my videos anyway, but they're so horrible. My sister had them in this room since this room was hers and this was decorated to be my room. So yeah, that's all of that bog bogey curtains. Something that can be easily changed anyway. So I definitely want to get some new ones of those to share. This was just like a set my mum gave me. She gave me a set with this um, Lancome Hydrazen cream in it and then it's got a night cream and Genifique. The reason she gave me that was because she didn't buy me anything and she bought that for herself on Boxing Day last year. <laughs> so I got that as a present but whatever I chose some clothes for myself and everything else I wanted to show you as well I literally have two bags full of clothes that I cleared out like maybe starting last month the month before and these are all clothes that I've taken photos of I've put them on Depop but I just need to get rid of them and like so many of them have hardly been worn or they're just too big for me and that's what happens when you get a smaller size so just look at this man you've probably seen it in my videos it's just there it's just lying there in those bags <laughs> and then this mess on the floor was from the hall so if you see that on the floor there that was from the hall that I was filming and this is what I wanted to do like I was gonna film a separate video like a mini haul number two but I just thought I'd show you now what I've got which is oh my god I'm so excited they're just some um I feel like I'm gonna sneeze <sighs> okay so they're trainers they're converse let me just get them out of the box for you so literally these are like so nice so there's the box they're a bit bigger than a normal converse box and then here are the converse you're actually going to die when you see these so just look at the cuteness of those shoes like how cute are they so they've got uh, rose gold eyelets on them and they're actually uh, called like eggnog colour and can you see like the bottom of them is the same colour and apparently they're meant to be like an exclusive for office they're just so soft I can't even explain so yeah 
I don't even know if you can see inside there. In the UK, they're a size five and a half, and I ordered them because, like, yeah, I felt like my feet were like smaller because my shoes were like have been falling off the back of my feet, but. I wasn't sure whether to go down to a size 5 but then I found size 5.5 so I'm really happy that I found those. The detailing on there, look at that. Oh, is it going to focus? Wow, just look. Ooh, ooh mama. I just think they look insane. Like originally I was looking for some Converse to wear to the gym like to buy for the gym and I do have some they're just um I'll show you actually because I had some other ones before but these are the ones that I have currently so they're just pink I wasn't really wearing them for normal wear anymore because they just felt a little bit big and loose and the condition's really good on the bottom so I thought why not wear them inside the gym they're quite clean and yeah but I bought this bag the other day from body shop and do you know the uh, video I showed you before about the hacks about spending and all of that um, the code hack so if you just look at this bag you get the money off on there as well and it just looks so cute like that and then um, on this side it says it's just got all of these things on it which I don't even know if you can see because the oh it's got a little Union Jack on it yeah it's got a carrot oh it says Green Dreams so yeah it's got a carrot eating vegetables um I just wanted to record a random video really I finally got my iron supplements they just look like this I was really curious to what size they were going to be so I don't know if you can even just see my eyebrows right now or what but iron supplements the doctor says I'm not anemic but I have got low iron which can turn into anemia and so I thought that it's definitely going to probably help especially because if you're a female as well and you do work out then yeah of course you're going to be affected then and it's a lot better if uh, it can make you sleepy a lot as well so that's just what they look like. So I haven't had my first iron supplements yet, but I will let you know how they go. Um, I'm just excited really to see if it makes a difference in my training. I just thought I'd make a little video about me getting back into the gym. Maybe a bit of what food I'm going to be eating again. I don't know. I just felt like doing a bit of a mini vlog. Because I actually think they're fun. Like, I know lots of people, like, the most viewed videos that I have is, like, about leggings or whatever. But I just like to do whatever. So, let's see if you enjoy it. I was thinking tonight, maybe before I go back to the gym, um, just do a bit of foam rolling. Maybe a bit of, like, glute activation. So, I know that I talk about my legs being, like, really bad all the time. Um, but actually what's happened is since I haven't been like doing all of my stretches and your glute medias being weak can basically mean that your foot turns out even more so I have a problem with my feet turning out and since then um, like lately like these last few days my foot has just been sticking out more and it's really getting uncomfortable now to walk on so I am really happy that I'm going to get back into the gym and what I'm going to do is just clean my room a bit and then maybe I'll get some stuff ready for the gym tomorrow but I just wanted to organise my room again before I get really busy going to the gym and just travelling there takes ages so the other thing I wanted to show you was this corner here so that's literally all of my like fitness clothes, towels for the gym and like um what's it called like i've really got one swimming costume there at the moment but it just looks so messy and that's like the bottom of my dresser thing so i was thinking maybe do you know to buy like a mini chest of drawers where there's like two put them in there i was thinking that because just look how messy that looks like it's all like so 
all it is I put my um like this should be a bit more folded but I'm always in a rush so I put like my little gym sock things in there in that corner and then I just put all of my clothes there and I just find it a lot easier to grab Um, so I just got back from the gym and it's Monday today which isn't a normal workout day and um, yeah so what happened was I went to a blast session and I don't normally go to them but I was a bit sad because it wasn't hard enough and it's just where the trainer does a session for like 20 minutes but I just did some of my own stretches and then I did some hanging leg raises so it's about the time is 3.31 and um I am going to have, so what I did, if you want to save money, you can buy, I bought these ages ago, look, the date said 22nd of December, and I got them for 79p, and but what you can do is I froze them, and pulled them out of the freezer the other day, and these um, are really good for protein, I think they're 9 grams of protein, so let me see if I can show you that, oh no, yeah, Per roll, 9.1 grams. I don't think that's going to come up there, but it's 9.1 grams, 200 calories. Okay. So, yeah, because it's got seeds in it, it will have a bit more fat, but 9.1 grams for a bread roll is really good. It's that mould or the seed is the seed. Then I've got beans, so I'm just going to have half a tin of that with some protein cheese because it was two pounds in tesco normally four pounds so that's three percent fat so that's really really low in fat for a cheese normally they're about equal fat to equal protein if you get a full fat cheddar normally so this is like this would be like three grams of fat for 100 grams of pro no 100 grams of cheese would be like three grams of fat and i'll show you when it's done so I've cut that in half now and I'm just going to place it into the grill like that. So no butter or anything. So I like mine a bit crispy as well. So it's just on 180. So that's now done. How easy was that? And it's going to be so tasty as well. So I got back from Sainsbury's, which is very hard to do with my mum and dad there to actually get things that I need in the trolley. So we call it supermarket sweep. So what I do is I run around the aisles and each item I find run back to the trolley before they get to the till because they don't want to pay for it. But these Warburton's protein wholemeal fills were a pound. Oh, that's wet there. Ew. Um, managed to get this tofu reduced oriental flavour 125. I got this on upper pippin nut peanut uh, maple crunchy butter. This was on offer for 225. It's like chalk pot spread made from fruit syrups. I've got this low calorie Sainsbury's hot chocolate so I think it's 40 calories per serving and you have it with water I've got this um, coconut coconut dream 
or whatever it's called and that was 99p it was normally 185 and that's for all my bi my biceps are really sore right now holding that milk so that's for one litre which isn't too bad is it then we've got this um ala milk that my sister picked up with pro extra protein um i think it's Per 100 mils, 41 calories and 4.6 grams of protein, which is really good. Um, I picked up two of these Weetabix Protein Crunch that I've spoke about in my protein video. Got one of this, 200 grams for £1.45. I thought it would have popping candy and that in it, but it's just got Smarties and a bit of honeycomb and raisins. But it's actually quite nice, Sainsbury's own brand. I managed to get this reduced uh in sainsbury's 125 and it's 84p now uh per 100 grams it's got 16 grams of protein and 111 calories i've got this black bean spaghetti which was on offer for two pounds a bit expensive but it's high in protein so that's um 45.3 grams of protein oops I got myself a new gym water bottle because I bought one before and it broke so this is one of those ones with a straw in it so you lift the thing up yeah and yeah my other one's blue as well my old one this one is uh, 600 mils same as my old one and then a protein roll from Lidl one of these and actually the most exciting thing is this it's called way hey the protein ice cream chocolate and that has it said sugar-free ice cream that's got 6.9 grams of protein and 77 calories um so that's like really 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 excellent if you ask me if you ask any protein person they would say that that's really good as well and that was on offer for three pounds so yes